Hey guys, my name is Aiden Fire, and today I'm with Crusher. Hey guys. And today, again, I will be showing you, or not showing you, really telling you more, of 10 tips of how to make you become a better Clash Royale player. This video is sponsored now. This video is mainly for starters, like if you're on Spell Valley, Builders, or Under, like that. And like if you just want to know the basics and how to become a better player, this is the video for you. Am I right, Crusher? Yes. So, number 10. The shop. Always use the shop. Check the shop daily, 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 daily. Every morning, you wake up, go to your phone, iPad, computer, whatever you're playing on, your TV, I don't know, and just check the shop. Because maybe you'll find a card you like. In fact, the other day, I found a card that I needed. And I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to come out with a video with the uh, uh, card that I just unlocked. Um, next up with number nine, time. What time it is. Play Clash Royale around the afternoon time because in the morning, your eyes aren't fully open. Same exact thing with night. So maybe you're going to miss that Electro Wizard like right there. Like the one that just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And trust me, it's happened to me. I've lost plenty of battles um, because, like, I wake up and I'm like, uh, I'm just going to battle. Oh, I didn't see that. Damn it, I got three crowned. And then I get annoyed. Um, and now for number eight, we have level and decks. So, level matters. Because if you're going to use a golem deck with a level two golem, that's not going to work. And the decks. It's about the arenas, too, which is basically number seven. So we're just going to go to number seven, which is decks and arenas. Arena matters. <laughs> I meant deck matters. So, okay. If you are in Spell Valley, let's say, for instance, I don't know, you're in Spell Valley, popular arena. Lots of my friends are in that arena. Um, never use a deck. With like a bunch of hordes, like minion horde, skeleton army, and all of that trash. Because there, you're being introduced to a bunch of splash damage cards, which will crush you there. For instance, minion horde. Oh, look, I got this new wizard. Let me use this crush. Um, skeleton army. I got my new ice wizard. Let me use it for this crush. So, yeah, basically that. Also, here's a little tip. If you're in Builders a Workshop. Use a golem deck, I'm telling you. Once you get all the cards there, use a golem deck. It works so well. And even a Lava Hound deck works. So we're going to skip to number six, uh, to the skill of the deck. How well you do in the deck. If you're not good at a golem deck, try a Hog Freeze deck because they're really simple and easy to learn. For like, for instance, I never used a Hog Freeze deck and I crushed Crusher using it yes, with five you, different decks you did do a good job because what explain what is a hog freeze it's kind of in the name breath. but really what it is is you must have you gotta send a hog rider and then you have to let them send out all their troops and their so their elixir is wasted and then you send out the freeze and it like it's frozen except for you but another tip is if you have a Lumberjack, if you do have a Lumberjack by any chance, even just a Rage spell is okay. Try to Rage the Hog Rider so it'll get even more hits without dying. And next up for number five, placement. Placement is key. For instance, you know when you destroy one tower and then you want to go for the either left or right Archer Tower and you just put it right in the corner? Do not... Do that. We're not the corner, the middle more, like where that hog rider is. Um, don't do that. Place it one tile back, cause then the king tower won't hit it, and the hog rider or giant, whatever you're using, will get to the tower. And don't worry about the passing situation; it will still go straight to the archer tower. And next up for number four, where you are, go to where you have a nice. Wi-Fi or like nice Wi-Fi like go right where the router is or something Because if you're like outside or something No, 
Because I tried playing Clash Royale at the beach one time uh, when I was on vacation, and it didn't go well for me. Because <laughs> it was like, Wi-Fi problems, okay, I'm good again. Wi-Fi problems, okay, I'm good again. No, I got three ground. And now for number three. Never play Clash Royale in the car because there's like a 99.9% .9 chance you are going to have Wi-Fi problems and lose. Because whenever I go to school, I play in the car. And I lose because of Wi-Fi problems. It's so annoying because you're probably going to hit a dead spot. I mean, it's like a guarantee. So listen to me. And number two, what device? If you're playing on a really bad iPad, then just don't do it. I'm talking to you, Eclipse. I mean, you're probably not watching this video with your iPad Mini 3. <laughs> Trash. Um, I didn't say anything. Uh, yes. So, play on, like, an iPhone, like a new iPhone, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, new iPad, or something. I I don't know. Just make sure you're going to play on something, which you... Oh, my God, my series just went on. Make you play something that you know it's not going to, like, fail on you. And number one, the this best the, tip. The big number dog. one, you must have a dog nose, can okay? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. I've been talking about this for like the, like number three and number two. Now for number one, Wi-Fi. That is the best thing. You must have Wi-Fi. Why did I exit out? <clears throat> you need Wi-Fi, 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 Wi-Fi. Because without good Wi-Fi, you can't battle. Wi-Fi helps you. Go near a router or something. Like, go in the room with the router. Or if you have, like, a uh, really good um, Wi-Fi, maybe just, like, go, like, um, a couple rooms away from it. Just make sure you know you're not going to have Wi-Fi problems. Because sometimes I play in the basement and I get crushed, absolutely crushed. And then I cry. No, I'm just kidding. I do not cry over a game. Um, yeah, that's basically it for today's episode. I hope you learned something new. And comment down in the comment section if you did and if this video was helpful. Oh, oh, not helpful, helpful. So please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell uh, icon next to the subscription button, and have a nice day, and goodbye. Bye.